you just so happen to be looking at the page of one of YouTube's most recognizable, most famous, most well-known commentators online today. I'm talking about FD Chick. But the problem is, as you can see on her video history, she haven't posted a video in months. Her last video was a Black Cops 2 video. If you go to her other page, FD Chick Extras, she have posted one video there recently, but it's not gameplay. It's not Black Ops 2. It's not even Modern Warfare 3. No gameplay in sight. Now, if you look at her Facebook status, she's still active. She still exists. She's still walking amongst Planet Earth, but there's no updates. There's no news. There's no information about her next commentary video, which makes you wonder. What happened to FD Chick? Where have she gone? Why haven't she been uploading videos? And as the days and weeks and months go by, you have been begging, you have been demanding, you have been pleading for FD Chick to come back. If this is you, please call this number now, 1-800-TRACKER, to locate your favorite YouTubers. That's 1-800-TRACKER. Why is it that Chris Moob is uploading Black Ops 2 videos? It's because of 1 800 Track. So don't let your favorite YouTube commentator be like FD Chick. Call 1 800 Track them and we'll track them down and bring them back just for you. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens? This is your boy Dash of True and Fun O. And what you are listening to is my new beat that I just released yesterday, aka Wednesday, July the 16th. It is called Dautant de Katsu. Yes, that's Japanese for Downtown Life or Downtown Lifestyle, whichever one. The beat is available now, and the best part is it is free. Yes, you heard me right, it is free. It's not cost 50 cents, it will not cost a dollar, two dollars. It is absolutely free. So go to my True Dance in front of .co.nr for all the downloading details or go to true in front of .bandcamp.com or check out my um Hulk share page. All the links you need are on the bottom in the description box below. But that's not what I want to talk about in this Modern Warfare 3 commentary video. What I want to talk about is video games. So let's get straight into it. Uh, the other day some dude asked me, because we haven't talked for a while. So the other day, some dude asked me, which system am I getting, the PS4 or the Xbox One? And I told him I was going to get for, um, both, rather. Obviously, I was going to get the PS4 first, and then the Xbox One when it goes on sale or go discount or whatever. And apparently, he wasn't satisfied with my response. Like, this was a pop quiz or a Q&A, not a Q&A session, but like a test or something. And he was like, why are you getting both? I'm like, because I want to get both. He was like, and then he said, why get a system that won't let you do whatever you want with the games for that system? I'm like, what are you talking about? So then, you know, he explained it to me in greater detail instead of uh, Lottie gagging around. So he was like, why get the Xbox One where you can't trade their games in, you can't sell it, you can't even loan them to a friend? And I'm like, first of all, None of those things apply to me. You know, I don't sell my games. I don't load my games to my friends since most of my friends don't even play video games. And the ones that do, they don't bug me and buy them, you know, to see if they can buy my games. And I don't do a lot of trading games in. And the games I'm going to get for the Xbox One are all multiplayer shooters. More than likely, you know, unless it's Forza or something along those lines. So I'm obviously not going to trade those in. So none of those reasons why... In your mind, I shouldn't get the Xbox One. Apply to me. So, bam, there you go. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is, however, games that are coming out just like the Xbox One and PS4. Games that are coming out real soon that I'm looking forward to the most. So, at this point in time, there are really two games that I'm looking forward to the most. But, unfortunately, they don't have a release date. But, we all know that they're coming. And those two games are, one, Kingdom Hearts 3. You should know this. You should know that. You know how excited I was when they finally announced Kingdom Hearts 3. And the second game, this one may make y'all scratch your heads a little bit. The second game I am rating for is Kingdom Hearts 2.5. Now, y'all probably scratching your heads like, 
bro, that's that's the same franchise, you know. And that nobody have announced 2.5, and I'm like, really? First of all, it makes no sense to come out with a 1.5 if they're not gonna come out with a 2.5. Second of all, the director of the series basically said the same thing. So you know, 2.5 becoming there. There's just too much hinting that a 2.5 is indeed coming out. So. Now, when it's going to come out is a mystery. I'm hoping next year. That would be cool. Now, let's talk about real, more realistic games that we know coming out that actually have a release date. So, one of the games that's coming out that's sticking with Kingdom Hearts is 1.5. So, you know, I you know, I'm a, I got a reserve. I already put some cash down on it. So, I'm going to get it and I'm going to play it, obviously. Because Kingdom Hearts 1.5 will have Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. Which was never released outside of Japan until now. So that's I can't wait for that. Another game I can't wait for is Watch Dogs. Now the thing about Watch Dogs, the game look out cold. The game looks sick. The thing about Watch Dogs is I'm gonna get it for the PS4. So when I get my PS4, that's one of the first games I'm gonna get. That's probably one of the games I'm gonna get alongside my PS4, Watch Dogs. That game is sick. And you cannot race a game like that on a current generation console you can't you can't get that game for the ps3 or the xbox 360 you gotta go next gen you gotta go ps4 so there you go another game i can't wait for is the two pokemon games pokemon x and pokemon y i believe that's the call what they call it or pokemon y pokemon z pokemon x pokemon z pokemon you know whatever I can't wait for those two to come out because it's time for me to update my Pokemon game. The last Pokemon game I got was Pokemon Right. And not version 2.0 either. So I need to update my Pokemon game so I can't wait for that to come out. Another game that's coming out that I can't wait for is obviously the new Call of Duty game. You know, Ghost. Black Ops 2. Like, once in the blue moon, I'll still play because Cat's still playing it. Cat's still bugging me to play it. And, you know, some cats are starting to return to play that game. But it's time for a change, you know, you know. I'm not saying I hated Black Ops 2 or I think Black Ops 2 the worst Call of Duty game of a ball. To me, that's War of War. Y'all probably know that already, too. But I'm ready for Ghost. So I'm ready for Ghost to come out. So, you know. And I got that reserved for both systems. Another game that I can't wait for to come out is the NBA 2K14. I'm waiting to see the 2K really fix all their bugs out of their games. Or am I going to have to deal with the same old BS, the same old cheese I dealt with in 2K13? Go back to one of my old Black Ops 2 videos. Matter of fact, the link to that video, I think I'm going to put that in the top right corner, like right there. So you can see what I'm talking about. I recommend you do that after you watch this video, though. <laughs> so I'm ready to see if 2K14 really going to have their heads on their shoulders. If not, 2K14 will be the... Last NBA 2K game I will get ever, ever. Speaking of 2K games, another game that I really can't wait for is the WWE 2K14 game because this will be the first game, the first WWE game under 2K14. You know, you go get the Ultimate Warrior when you pre-order it, and I did that already. So I'm waiting to see what the game will be like. I saw some clips of the Ultimate Warrior, how he looked. I'm a little shaky about the look of the characters, but that was just the Ultimate Warrior. So I'm waiting to see how everybody else looks. So that's going to be interesting. And the new things they're going to put in there, uh, you know, which, makes, which should make it better than, two, uh, than uh, 2K13, than the E13. So I'm waiting to see what they do to make them stand out from the E13. Because the E13 was a good game. I'm not saying it's the best wrestling game of all time because we all know that honor goes to No Musty. But 30E13 was still a great game, a great wrestling game, nevertheless. Another game that I that I really can't wait for is Batman Arkham Origins. Now, that's a game I just put on hold also. And when it comes to Batman, here's the thing about Batman. The newer Batman games. I never played Arkham Asylum, but I heard that game was amazing. And, then, and by hearing how awesome that is when... Uh, Arkham City came out I was like okay I'll try out Arkham City I fell in love with that game 
I fell in love with that game. So Arkham Origins, I'm like, oh yeah, you know I gotta jump on that. And of course I'm gonna jump on that. Now, one more game that I'm personally looking forward to that hybrid and not a lot of cats probably aren't on this one. Y'all should be up on this one. Is Lego Marvel Superheroes. I, I actually can't wait for that game, you know, because you get to play as your favorite Marvel superheroes like Spider Man, Iron Man, Wolverine, Thor, the Incredible Heart, Captain America, the Fantastic Four. I believe Deadpool was in there. You can play some of your villains like Venom, 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 Loki, you know, just to name a few. Hopefully, you can play as Dr. Doom. That would be sick, too. So, yeah, I can't wait for that one. Now, there are some other games coming out that don't necessarily have my attention, or there are other games that are rumored to be coming out pretty soon. Uh, one of the games is Assassin's Creed 4. Now, the thing with Assassin's Creed 4 is I, I'm not interested in getting it at right when it first came out, or maybe not right away at all, because here's the thing. My first Assassin's Creed game was Brotherhood. Loved it. Fell in love with it. A great game. It then came Revelations. So I'm like, oh, man, Revelations is going to be sick. But when I got it, it was like... I couldn't stay into it. Then came Assassin's Creed 3. And I got that one and I really fell off of that one because you start the game by playing as the villain and it takes a long time before you can, you know, move on from that and play as the main character. And I was like, man, this mug is taking forever, so screw this. And at the same time, I also got the uh, Assassin's Creed Ezio Trilogy, which came with Assassin's Creed 2, uh, Brotherhood, and Revelation. I got my Assassin's Creed 3 still, and by reserving Assassin's Creed Revelations, which I trade in as did Brotherhood, I also got the download for Assassin's Creed 1. So I got every Assassin's Creed game, but that came out on the PS3, but I'm not getting 4. Unless I heard it's good, then I'll probably get it used on sale or something. And there's some other games, but I'll reveal those for another day. As you can see, I dominated right here. And let me say congratulations to 6. For being a third feature song of the year finalist. Peace out, y'all. Right to that. Let me get to wrecking, but rock blades on my weapons. Giving niggas chills like Sub Zero's presence. Murdering you peasants, I get it popping. You heard of that? Tearing you apart with my mind. Ermac, get over here, Scorpion's catchphrase. I hate to tell you, but these are your last days. And well, sorry, I'm not sorry. Fatality when I rip your spine from your body. Flawless, I suffer no sorrow. Cause I got harder kicks than Motaro. This is my spot. Who you brought? Kratos, I ball shine and roll up on foes like Kano. K broke, brutal with the moves that I made. And I'm getting green like the colors on Jade. Oh, you make it rain, I make it storm like Ray, then watch as I set this shit ablaze. Then